Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss how you can send files to and retrieve files from an HMI by accessing the HMI's built-in FTP server. Now if you're not familiar with the term FTP, it stands for File Transfer Protocol. This protocol can be used to transfer files between two or more devices. The device sending or requesting a file is the client, and the server receives or provides the requested file. Let's say that your HMI is programmed to generate a CSV file once daily. This file is then saved within an external USB drive. Typically, you might retrieve this USB every month to back up the data. However, if this HMI is in another city or in a remote location, this could be difficult or perhaps even impossible. As a solution to this, Wintech has added FTP functionality to almost all HMIs currently available for purchase meaning that we can remotely access our HMI's internal and external storage using file transfer protocol. Which brings us to our next question, how do we accomplish this? Well, this is very easy to do, and the first step is to make sure that your computer lies on the same IP subnet as your HMI, or that you've established a private connection to the HMI using Easy Access 2.0. Once this has been configured, we'll need to open our file browser and type the following into our search bar. FTP colon two forward facing slashes upload his colon the HMI's password at the HMI's IP address. If your connection is valid, the HMI's internal memory will be displayed and you should be able to access and back up important data and event logs. Let's try this now in real time while on a local connection. First, I'll need to know my HMI's IP and subnet mask. On a CMT, this information can be found by selecting the orange disk in the top left corner. Once there, I'll find the HMI's network information on the right hand side. On non-CMTs, this information can be found by selecting a small gray arrow in the lower right corner. This will display a small menu in which you can select a small icon with the letter I on it to view network information. Once we have our HMI's IP and subnet mask, I'll change the IP of my PC so that it lies on the same IP subnet as my HMI. To do this, I'm going to open my control panel select Network and Internet, and then click the Network and Sharing Center. I'm currently connected to my HMI using an Ethernet cable, so I'll select my Ethernet connection, click Properties, and then double-click Internet Protocol Version 4. Here, I'll make sure my PC's IP lies on the 192 168.0 subnet, and then it has a unique identifier. Next, I'll set my subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. With that finished, I'll click OK and close our network settings. Now, we should be able to access our HMI's internal and external memory. Let's open our file browser and enter the address of our FTP server. Currently, our HMI is configured with a default password of six ones. And then I'll type at, followed by our HMI's IP address, which is 192.168.0.10. Finally, we'll click enter, and our HMI's internal memory will be displayed. Here, we can access event log and data sampling information, or even back up data from an SD card or USB drive connected to the HMI. In some applications, you might also need to send files to a USB or SD card. By default, an FTP client is not allowed to edit files within the HMI's external memory. However, this feature can be enabled from within the General tab of our CMT series HMIs, 
or from within the second miscellaneous tab of our non-CMT series. Now let's take a look at how I can connect to our HMI as an FTP client using Easy Access 2.0. To connect to our HMI, we'll first need to ensure that both our PC and HMI have a stable internet connection. With that configured, I'll open my Easy Access application and log in. To log in to our HMI, we'll need to select the intersecting arrows. I'll select my HMI, and within our Access Settings tab, you'll find a section labeled Password in FTP URL. In this box, we'll enter the password for our HMI, and then click the Copy button. Next, we'll open the file browser and paste our URL. And you'll notice that our URL contains the virtual IP assignment by Easy Access 2.0. And just as before, our HMI's internal and external memory will display. Just as an example, I'll go ahead and copy our event log data and paste it onto our desktop. And this was a brief introduction to our HMI's FTP server functionality. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.